Greetings for all creative people. If you need a fast way to a simple and beautiful character which looks professional and catchy, you're at the right place. If we want to quickly and simply get to a character illustration, one of the ways is using simple geometric forms. For contours of this illustration, I'll use three geometric forms, and for their sole, zip up palette colors. You can download them from the link below in the description of the video. I will start with the face, and use the first geometric form. First, I will copy it, increase it a bit, and to make a face natural, add some color from the zip up palette. I've created the face, and now the hair is next. I'll use a circle for the hair. Copy the circle and place it below the face, and paint it black. Now I have the hair. But to get the real look, I'll add some details like bangs. I'll use the circle again. This time I'll copy it, Control c and then Control f I use Control f when I want to copy an object on the same place where it's already located that I want to copy. I'll place the circle in front of the face and then paint it in the color of the hair. I'll add a few more circles and form the character of the hair. I'll place one here, and one a bit bigger, I'll place it here. Now I have the hair and the face. After that, eyes are next. For them, I'll use the circle as well. They will be black. I'll put it in the forefront. I'll copy the eye and group the eyes. After the eyes, the nose is next. For the nose, I'll use the first geometric form, but I will lengthen it and decrease it. and a bit more lengthen and decrease. I'll use darker color for the face. I have the nose, now I create the mouth. I use the circle. I'll put the circle somewhere around here and paint it black. I don't want this O shape. I'll subtract the upper part of the lips with the help of a square. Distort it a bit. And use the minus front tool in the Pathfinder. I have the mouth, but it can be even more beautiful. I'll decrease it a bit and add a tongue. With the help of a circle. I'll select the mouth in the circle. In the Pathfinder, I use the option Divide. After that, I use Ungroup. Now I have three objects. I delete this one and paint the tongue in the zip up red color. Now we have cool faces. To make the face complete, I will add ears. I'll use the circle for that, which I will paint in the color of the skin. Inside it, I'll copy another smaller circle 
and paint it in the darker color of the skin. By doing that, I will get depth of the ear. Copy it. Group the ears, and I will use the center alignment. I have quite a pretty face. Okay. After the face, I create the neck. I will take the first geometric object, decrease it so it would be thinner than the head. I'll paint it in darker skin color because the shadow is casted on it. By doing that, I will separate the neck and the face will be emphasized. The next is torso. I'll use the shape of the face. Copy it. Control C, Control F. I'll put it in the background and color it in the zip up red color. Now I'll divide it into two parts. On the shirt and the pants. I will use square and option divide in Pathfinder. I will paint the part below in black and take it back in the background, below the neck. I'll leave the circular part on the neck and that way I will get the 3D shape of the neck as well as the edge of the collar of the shirt. Now I have the torso, the next are the legs. This will be a trouser leg. And now the foot. I'll use the circle and shorten the lower part. I'll put it in the forefront and paint the trouser leg. We have one leg. Now I'll copy it, rotate it vertically, Put it in the center with respect to the body. Next are the hands. I will use the first geometric form. I'll lengthen it a bit and decrease it. This is our upper arm. I will copy it and it will be our upper arm. Now I draw a fist. I will zoom the arm to make it easier to work. This is the part of the hand outside the sleeve. This is our fist. I'll lengthen it a bit and decrease the same part and we got out the thumb. I will paint the thumb in the color of the skin to emphasize it. This way you can easily add some objects to the hand if you wish. I don't need that right now. Now I have the complete arm. I will group the fist and the upper arm. By using Rotate tool and set rotation point to the elbow, I can easily manipulate with the movement of the arm. 
This is perfect for the animation. I will decrease the complete arm and add it to our body. I will decrease it and bend it a bit. After that, copy it. The arms are completed. And I can play with dynamic. I will increase the size of the legs. I can do the same with the arms. Now, I have our character. I'll add one small detail. I'll use the circle and make a character shadow. That's it! This is an excellent basis, and you can add more detail if you wish. Like pockets, details, and patterns on the shirt. Details on the face or the beard. The character is simple and very useful for an animation, like video explainers and TV commercials. If you want, click subscribe, because soon there will be more. Until then, enjoy the creation and zip up!